Okay, this is going to be part two of my Jason video series. This is going to be for the mask and the knife. Um, the mask will be removable. Um, if you have come here looking to do um, the full doll, um, I will have the links in the description. Part one will be his body like this. And then part two is where you are right now for the knife and the mask. And then part three will be his little jacket. Um, okay, let's get started. Okay, we are going to start with a loop. We'll be beginning most of our um, mask will be made in the round, but I'm going to be doing a few kind of little wonky things. Um, if you get lost or confused, I will have a 15 second drop down menu along the top here for every row. You can just go back, have a look at that, and then continue on. Okay, so for round one, we're just going to do six single crochets into this loop. So grab your yarn, pull up, make your chain, and remember that just secures your um, yarn to your loop. It does not count as a stitch. Now we're going to do six single crochets. One. I might loop a little on the small side. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Okay, grab a stitch marker and I suggest using one. If you use one like me, it will help you a lot if you have to go back and count what stitches you made. But of course, as always, do it however you like and are used to. So for round two, we are just going to do an increase in every stitch around. So that'll be six increases for a total of 12. So increase one and two. Increase three and four. Increase five and six. Increase seven and eight. Increase nine and ten. Increase 11 and 12. Okay, here's where we're going to go a little differently if you're used to just going in the rounds and increasing. So we are going to start round three, one single crochet, one increase until we get to 10 stitches. So one single crochet and an increase, two and three, one single crochet, four, increase five and six, one single crochet, seven, increase eight and nine, and then one single crochet for 10. So you should be just a little over past halfway. Um, then we are gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna skip two stitches. 
So skip one, skip two, and we're going to go into that third stitch. And we are going to do three single crochets to the end of the row. So one, two, and three. And that should bring us right back to our stitch marker. Okay, so for round four, we're going to start by chaining five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to skip two stitches. One, two, go into that third stitch, and we are going to do three single crochets in the next three stitches. <clears throat> so one, and then two, and then three. Now we are going to do two increases over the next two stitches. So one increase, and then we're going to do another increase. Uh, just find where I am here. Then we're going to do three single crochets. One, two, three. Now over this chain, we're going to do five single crochets around the chain. So one, or so you go down, in and around, grab your yarn up and through. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And then we are going to do one increase, one single crochet, and one increase. So an increase, and we're going into this next stitch right here. So an increase, and then a single crochet, and then an increase. And that should bring you right to where you started chaining on this side. Okay, for round five, we're going to start by doing five single crochets around this chain. So just like we did before, you go in and through, grab your yarn, and do your single crochet. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then we are going to do a repeat row of three single crochets and an increase till we get to um, 30. So we have five. So we're going to single crochet uh, three times. So six, seven, eight, and an increase, nine and ten. And then we're going to repeat that sequence all the way around till we hit 30. So 11, 12, 13, and an increase, 14, and 15. And then we're going to repeat that again, 16, 17, 18, and an increase, 19 and 20. And we'll repeat that again. 21, 22, 23, and an increase, 24 and 25. And we'll repeat that one more time. 26, 27, 28, and our increase, 
29 and 30. Now we should all be, um, if you can see, this is our, where we started our chain, where we went over our chain, and then our next, our last stitch is just above of that. So one, two, three stacked on top of each other. Now you can start using your stitch marker again because there's a place to put it. For row six, we are just going to do four single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. So one, two, three, four, and our increase, five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and our increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and our increase, 17 and 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and our increase, 23 and 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30 is our increase. Sorry, I just about went too far. So 29 and 30 should be that an increase. 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35 and 36 should be our last increase, which brings us right back to our stitch marker. And we should still be in line with all them stitches. Okay, for row seven, we are gonna do five single crochets and an increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 42. If I get mixed up, I'm gonna start counting in sevens instead of continuously. So one, two, three, four, five, and an increase, six and seven. Eight, nine, ten, Eleven, twelve, and our increase, thirteen and fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and our increase, twenty and 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and our increase, 27 and 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and our increase, 34 and 35. And this should be our last set. 36, 37, 38, 39, 
40 and our increase 41 and 42. We should be looking about like this. Okay, this is kind of going to be our last row. It's kind of like a row and a bit. So we are going to start row eight, five single crochets and one increase. And we're not repeating that. Oops, flip our stitch marker just in case. So one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to do one increase, six and seven. Okay, now we're going to just do six straight single crochets across. So one, two, three, four, five and six and that should bring you down to the bottom corner so you're kind of because we go in rounds one side usually a little lopsided this stopping here should get you so you're the same on this side and the same on this side okay so for the rest of the row if you want to bring your stitch marker over now we are just going to do 42 single crochets. I can't remember where it ends. I I think it ends here. It might end here, but we'll see as we go around. Okay. So 42 single crochets. One. Two. Three. Four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, we're passing our other stitch marker, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, I should have brought that the other way, 40, 41, and 42. And I ended one stitch short of my stitch marker. I think that's because I left the last one for a slip stitch. So you just slip stitch and then we'll tie that off. Um, I don't need too much of a tail. I don't think I use that for anything except leaving it in and you should have what looks like this a tiny little bit of a curve but it's not going to matter if it's flat or curved so that probably looked hard or intimidating but really 
It was quite easy, wasn't it? I originally wasn't going to put eye holes in there, but as I got going, I just thought, oh, let's try it. And it worked. So, I mean, there was a little counting and figuring I had to do, but so let's grab our guy. Um, if you don't have the eyes in, this is how you're going to figure out where you're going to put your eyes. So put the mask where you want it, and then you'll, whoops, <laughs> put the mask where you want it, and then you'll just mark where your eyes are or pop them right through like this. I crocheted this a little tighter, I see. So my eyes are a bit far apart, but it's going to stretch. Um, now, it took me half a day to figure out where to put all these marks, so I'm not going to do that with you. But at the end, um, once we have the straps on, I will put a screenshot of his face at the end. And you guys can have a look at that. Or you guys can do your own. Okay. To do the straps on this one, all I did was I, I made a chain all the way around. Attached it. And then I cut and then I made it, I inserted my yarn and made a chain to meet here. So if you wanna do it quick and easy, that's what you're gonna do. But if you wanna do it the way I've just rethought of, I'm gonna go around and chain and then I'm gonna single crochet back. Hopefully, I'm gonna leave a lot of a tail in case I gotta weave that into a chain or something. So you want a fairly small little loop. And you're going to go approximately even with the bottom of the eyes. So if you want to mark that. Um, what do I got for markers? So I'm just, ah, I'm just, okay. So I'm just going to mark sides just in case when I get around to the other side I'm kind of not sure where I'm going and I don't think it has to be too perfect I feel like this one's too high but it feels too low you know <laughs> okay so let's insert our yarn into this one and I think I'm gonna go this way no, I better go this way and fix it later. Since I'll be crocheting this way. And I think I did 20, so I'm going to start with 20 chains. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, sorry, I wonder if that's hard to see, 15, 16, 17, and 18, whoops, 1920. Now, once you got 20, because ours may be a little different, you may have stuffed yours a little more or a little less, st stick his um, mask on. Actually, I think I pinned mine on. Let's pin it on. Not where you're going in to crochet, so inside a little bit. Just grab a couple of pins where you want it to sit. As long as it's not super loose, these chains you're making, it's not going to really matter. Um, uh, what was I going to say? not really super going to matter about these chains as long as it's holds it on. So that was 20. It's not quite there. So I'm going to do, oh, it's really not quite there. I'm going to do about five more. I can figure out my yarn here. Make sure you don't twist your chain now if you just did what I did. So I'm at 20, 21. 22, 23, 24, 25. Yeah, I like 25. Don't forget, this will stretch a bit over time. 
So then I'm just going to slip stitch into where I had my other marker. Well, it's not very eloquent, but it's in there. Now I think I'm going to do one single crochet into there. Just so it's a th on the thicker side. And then we are going to do 10. Actually, maybe this would have been easier to take it off. Sorry. Bad instructions. I'm kind of learning this with you because although I've made one, I haven't redone one. Okay, so now we're going to do 10 single crochets down, down this um, chain. You want to be... Well, you want to be in the middle, so in the middle somewhere here. Oh no, I did 25, so let's do 24. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve is half, just about halfway there. It's about halfway. Let me do one more. Okay, so now we're going to chain up so it'll go this way. Let's do 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you'll have to get your mask back on. So everyone's might be a little different, so don't worry if you're not the same stitch count as me. Now that could work for me, but I don't want to have to always be pulling this down. Sorry, this is going to look a mess, but you guys will get what I'm saying. So I'm going to do, I've got 10, I'm going to do 13, 11, 12, 13, and then you want to come up in the center of your mask. Sorry, sorry guys. So about the center, so this stitch right here I want to come in. So just like that. I'm going to take this back off now. I shouldn't need him for measuring. <sighs> okay. So you're going to do your slip stitch and then your one single crochet. And then you're going to come down this line. You should have um, approximately the same amount that you chained, depending on where you get your hook in to begin with. So I should have 13, but I might not, because that doesn't look right. So one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, whoops, nine, ten. 
12. Oh, look at that, 13. And then we're going to go back down this side and we should have about 11 or 12. So you're going, I'm not going to go in this stitch, even though I went one over. I'm going to go in this stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, this last stitch even though I don't think I'm supposed to just kind of feel it out um, or no I guess I could slip stitch in there okay yep, looks fine and then you're just gonna tie this off um, leave a bit of a tail because you're gonna be weaving that in oh, maybe I'll leave a big tail Actually, I'd like that way better than just chaining. That looks a lot, um, a lot nicer. So let's get it on our guy. I guess I'm gonna have to go back and redo the other one now. And I did this guy. Oops, where's your eyeballs, dude? Here they are. <laughs> and like I said, you can play around with this a bit, make the eyes fit a little better. Um, so put your, um, put all your little marks and stuff on him. And let's get on to the knife. I guess you can hang out here because I don't need you for a bit. Okay, so I procrastinated for over a week because I wasn't sure how to make a knife. And turns out, don't you just start chaining and stuff? I did about seven versions, but it's actually pretty simple. Um, this isn't a sturdy one. Like, it's going to be a little flippy floppy. But um, if it's just sitting somewhere, it's going to be fine. Okay, so I'm using a little sparkly gray. I think it's by... Uh, it might be by Red Heart. I guess I should... Nope, it's by Burnett. It's... Uh, Where is it? Soft gray sparkle. Five ounce. I love this silver. Anything glittery, <laughs> I'm good with. Okay, so that is my sheet. We're going to chain 11. Okay, so one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then we're going to do two slip stitches starting in the second chain from hook. Try and keep this on the tighter side. So this is your first chain from hook. This is your second, so we're going to be going in this one right here. And just two slip stitches. And if you have to tighten that right then, do that. So one, two, 
I didn't do my math, but I believe that leaves us eight half double crochets. So, oh, if you're used to doing amigurumi, you might not remember a half. So for a half, you go wrap your yarn over once, go through um, your loop, grab your yarn, pull up and through, and you'll have three loops on your hook. And you grab your yarn and you go through all three. And you just repeat that seven more times. So that's two. Three. Four. Five. Six, oops, seven, and eight. Boy, this yarn sparkle shows up good when I video. I can never get a picture of it sparkling. And then you're just going to slip stitch, or not slip stitch, tie off. Or did I slip? Nope, I tied off. Okay. A little bit of a tail because. You are now going to weave your longest piece up and down through these stitches. I went right to the second last where I slip stitched and I left a slip stitch alone, but I went all the way up. Um, whatever I considered the back, just to kind of strengthen this blade a little bit. So you just want to go up through the middle stitches and it might be a little tight. So just take your time. So about to here, you come up and through and this one, this one was a little tight for me, but I found if I pulled the stitches on the top and the bottom back and forth, instead of focusing on pulling my needle, that it worked a little better. And right now, if you want, you can kind of decide the length. Like the more you, how can I hold this so you can see? The more you pull it, the shorter your blade will be. The least you pull it, the longer your blade will be. But it will be more stable if you pull it in a bit. I think I shrunk mine about halfway. And then you're going to go back down through all the stitches you just came up. And out the bottom. I might have to do that as a separate pull here. You gotta pull it, but try and be careful not to wreck and stretch your yarn so your knife is out of shape. Yeah, there we go. Probably help if I use a different needle, but I've just always used this one and never get a new one. See, I pulled that a little bit too much. All right, get that through there. Okay, so that's the blade part. I'll put that down and we'll grab our handle color. Now you can tie this if you want. I think I will. Just so it's more secure. You want to tie it so it kind of lands in the middle. And then now I apologize for using black, but the um, this part is so easy. It's not really going to matter how well you see the stitches. So leave a bit of a tail. Make your loop because you're going to attach your black at the bottom of your knife on the smaller side. I 
and you're gonna slip stitch down in here somewhere. I'm gonna get that on the other side. So somewhere between your knife and where you tied your knot. And that will kind of keep it from sliding off because all we're gonna do right now is we're gonna crochet around all our ends. So um, if you wanna do a tiny little two round or two row, two stitch or three stitch round and go around and around, that would be better, but anything under four single crochets, I just hate going around and around. So we're doing it this way. So all we're gonna do is go around, that don't help, go around these tails and we're just gonna single crochet. Like if you're going over a rubber band or elastic or a wire, or like when you went around the mask, the only difference is we just, we're doing it over our tails. So, two, oh, I'm not even in the camera, three, oh, that's why, four, I'm going to do about five. You do it however many you want, and don't worry about how this looks, because after you um, do your slip stitch, you're going to leave a long tail. You're going to tie it off. And you're going to use this tail to go back and forth, up and down, kind of into here. And you're just going to make that a little... See, I should have probably went there instead of there. If you wanted, you could have single crocheted up here. Um, just kind of play with it, whatever. After you make your first one, you'll know what kind of feels right for you. I just needed to get a knife. So this isn't gonna be the nicest knife. And leave your tails here if you're doing like me and just going up and down because you're gonna need these to kind of... I cut mine short and they started popping out right here. So leave your tails so you can kind of pull them back and forth if you have to. So just get a bunch of pieces. And it's going to be another tight, tight one again. I should do this off camera. There we go. But I'll show you the first couple that I'm doing. Now don't bring your tails in. It's going to be a mess, but there you go. And then if you did like me and didn't go in the middle, just grab a little piece of the, your knife up higher. And then you'll go back down and in and that will kind of fix that a bit. And you'll just keep doing that until you think it's kind of... Well, this one doesn't look near as nice as my other one. But it's because I'm doing it with my hands straight out away from me. So see, this is this one looks like this. He's much neater. I took my time on it. Um. Okay, so once you get that done... Um, I will put um, all the links to all the videos down in the description and you guys can go in there for part three to do the jacket. Um, I guess thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.